Hi, I'm John Swartz. In this program, you're going to see a fascinating story and get a look at what could turn out to be a piece of artwork that all Aurelians could be proud of. I'm talking about a statue that will soon be installed in Aurelia's Chudhope Park to celebrate Aurelia's and Canada's favorite son, Gordon Lightfoot. This story starts in August of 2014 when I spotted an item on a Aurelia City Council closed session agenda about a monument in Tudho Park. And that's not something one would normally see on a closed session agenda. So I paid a little bit more attention to it. And by November, I had a pretty good idea what it was about. And Gordon Lightfoot himself confirmed it to me in a telephone conversation on Christmas Eve. In this hour, we'll go behind the scenes with the sculptor, Timothy Schmaltz, at his St. Jacob's studio and see some of the process of creating the statue. We'll also speak with some of Gord's contemporaries about why a statue is necessary. And we're also going to speak to people that run the festival that Gord holds in high regard, the Mariposa Folk Festival. But first, let's meet the person charged with preparing the site in Tuthole Park where the statue will be installed, John Bryant of Aurelia's Parks and Recreation Department. This is a uh, concept which the artist has prepared for the uh, initial trying to alignment of putting the uh, sculpture on uh, the point at Tutho Park. And what we're proposing to do is to uh, try to get it located in this very prominent location. And we've just recently undertaken some uh, soils investigation. What we find is that uh, Surprisingly, the site is very stable. It's got a silty, hard clay, which is uh, really good for putting in a monument in the base we're going to do. The city's uh, role at the first stage of this is to prepare a structural slab, and that will be enabled for the monument, monument to be mounted onto the, uh, the pad. The sculpture itself weighs about a ton, a ton and a half, so we have to make sure that it's structurally sound. So we'll be putting the, the uh, concrete pad in, elevating it slightly about two, two and a half feet so that we give the sculpture a little more prominence and at the same time not block the view of the water because the background to the sculpture is uh, just uh, absolutely amazing. Well the project we're going to break it into two different phases. The first phase that the city will be doing is to do the structural slab and get it installed. Shortly after Mariposa we hope to have it uh, contracted and to start to have the slab installed for, it be, should be done by August, and then they can do the actual placement of the sculpture when that date is determined. So we're hoping to have our work done this fall. The second phase that the city is doing is that we're working with the Mariposa Folk Foundation and doing a master plan update for the park. The, this park has been deemed a celebration park, so we're gonna be investigating the different activities that happen in the park, all the infrastructure, electrical sewer, the trails, everything. And part of that deal is to revisit the, 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 uh, the first installation and do a more elaborate landscape, a more uh, uh, pedestrian friendly landscape so that we can have benches and flowers and things installed. So what we want to do is make sure we get the initial installation done and then build from that. Uh, it de depends on what the master plan says, but we anticipate that we're going to really improve uh, the benches, the landscape. We'll hope to introduce lighting for the sculpture so it's lit up at night and uh, take advantage of how people use this space. Well, I've had more difficult projects to undertake, but again, part of the enjoyment of doing the project is all the pieces. How do you put the puzzle together? So we're collaborating with the artist to make sure that once we install the slab, um, what we're doing is, is going to be sending him a template of the bolting pattern. So when we build the slab, it's 100% bang on and he can uh, have the uh, the sculpture hoisted and then mounted onto the plates that are already pre-approved. So we're going to work very closely with the artist to make sure that all the puzzle pieces fit exactly as they should. Tuthope Park in Aurelia, where the statue will reside, has been the home of the Mariposa Folk Festival since 2000. Gordon Lightfoot headlined that festival and helped to re-establish Mariposa in Aurelia and he's played the festival many times since. It's 
yeah, I can't say it's about time, but uh, it certainly is a, a great honor to him and, and well deserved uh, for for what he has contributed. If you talk to any of the uh, Canadian musicians on the whether it's the, the folk scene or even uh, rock musicians will tell you how Gordon Lightfoot was so influential. Uh, Jim Cuddy, for example, talks about how he sat and learned how to play the guitar by playing Gordon Lightfoot songs. So uh, that, that's the kind of tribute. The fact that they're putting a statue up to him is just, um, it, it's sort of the way it should be, especially in his hometown. Really. The leadership of Mariposa had to keep the news of the statue quiet for several months. It was an extreme excitement and what a tribute to a Canadian folk icon, one of Aurelia's own. Uh, you know, Gord is certainly a very humble man and a humble artist, but I, I can't help to think that he's hugely pleased to have that kind of tribute to his whole body of work. And, you know, I think the recognition will mean a lot to Gordon and to the, the community of Aurelia. And, you know, we always have to be conscious of, or I do in particular, in um, recognizing people for their contributions, whether it's on a volunteer basis or a, a professional basis. But the contribution to arts and culture is, is so important um, mm -hmm. to society as a whole. The monument that's um, in development or production now will rival anything that we've got in the city as well as other communities. It's, it's a f large structure, it's a large art project, and you know I think it's just f a fitting tribute to Gordon Lightfoot. So are you, are you going to look ahead to uh, 2016's um, festival when the monument's actually in place and, and, and plan something around that, maybe formally invite Gordon to come and do a night kind of thing, um, um, <laughs> all up in the air? Or? Or is, yeah, that, is yeah. that an idea that, that you might, you know, cash in on with the fact that the monument will be in place by then? Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for planting the idea. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk it over. The, the board of directors makes those kinds of decisions, but it's, that's definitely, a, it's, it's almost a no-brainer to, to do something like that. You're always yes. open to ideas. Oh, exactly, yeah. yeah so the Rush <laughs> acoustic set that we keep talking about, that's still <laughs> percolating? <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure, we'll talk about it. Yeah. No, I think, um, and I and I know that uh, Gord thinks so much of the festival himself. Um, like he, he just always praises it and, and uh, talks about it often. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I can see that if we did plan something, I think there would probably be a pretty good chance that he would show up and, and do something. Still to come, Lightfoot's contemporaries tell us why they're in favor of casting Gord in bronze.